With EcoBank is uh, um, now a leading bank in the industry with uh, total assets over 18 billion US dollar, um, having 9 million customers and being present in um, 32 countries in Africa. Um, how did we make it? Um, we have taken the decision, number one, to be extremely ambitious on what we want to do. So from the start, the decision has been made to be a Pan-African bank and to become the number one in that space. The second key success driver that we have is clearly um, our focus on what we call Middle Africa. If you take Africa, we think that Africa can be divided in three different sections. The northern part, which is more connected to Middle East, the southern part, which is dominated by South Africa, and which is more competitive in terms of banking. And then you have in the middle, basically what we call the cheese in the sandwich, which is Middle Africa. <laughs> and the cheese in the sandwich, that's where you find the 10 fastest growing economies in Africa. So we decide to focus on that part. And we have um, decided to, to completely forget about the northern part, the southern part, and dedicate our focus, our energy, and efforts on, 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 that, on that part. And it is paying back now, which is, which is the good news. The third um, key factor, in my opinion, is what I like to call the ruthless execution mindset that we, we have tried to put into the bank. Uh, building a Pan-African bank is not an easy one. You have to deal with different regulators and you have to deal with some investors that are skeptical on that model. In 2008-2009, when um, African markets were having tough times, we stick to that model, and we built it from West Africa, expanded to Central, and, and, and then expanding to Eastern and, and, and Southern Africa. And today we have a platform with over 1,200 branches, which is the largest platform in Africa in terms of banking, and we think that we can, become to, we can begin to benefit from those efficiencies that you have when you have the scale and to benefit also for your presence in 32 African countries as well. Going forward, um, we do think that the, the, the opportunities are clearly number one in the um, uh, emerging middle class um, uh, with over 300 million people considered to be currently emerging middle class or, or already middle class. We do think that the banking solutions that we can present to them are clearly going to be a quick win. So we have positioned ourselves on that market, uh, providing um, uh, transaction banking services. I fully agree with uh, my colleague here. That's one of the key domains that we need to focus on. Um, uh, one sector on which also we are very keen to be talking about is the regional trade. Um, if you take, for example, EAC, East African Community, you have over 4 billion US dollars of regional trade going between those five countries. So if you have a bank present in those five countries, you can clearly leverage and, and, and make significant revenues out of that uh, regional trade. The last topic that we are following and that we are very keen to, 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 to focus on is indeed the capital market. We are very well positioned on that. We have asset management business and security businesses in over um, five markets across Africa. And we want to be considered as one of the main conduits when um, investment are going to be flowing from um, developed markets because of the global search of yield toward African market. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.